You rejected me. You listened to the devil. You showed him confidence. You, you who until yesterday knew nothing of Satan, you so easily made him your trusted friend and master. I respected your freedom, although you owe it to me. You surrendered it to your fiercest enemy. You unwittingly became his aider and abettor, and you have paid for it with your misfortune. Above all, you failed to understand that your enemy used you to root their eternal evil in your kingdom, in the place where I put you, heaven. So you could never, never, David, can you, can you ever forgive me? Blasphemy. I could swear this thing was following me. Indispensable addiction. What is this? strikes again. It was only a few days ago that another boy was reported missing from St. Mary's Church. This is the seventh in a string of children reported missing since just last month. All of them were poor souls from St. Anne's Orphanage, apparently under the custody of Father Abraham Marcus. A witness confirms... He... They've gone mad. Are they accusing me? Each night I pray for the safe return of the altar boy. God as my witness. Could there be an unholy will at work here? Now, we have breaking news about the killer priest from Black Tower. A witness confirms he really did murder those eight children. Father Ryan Carpenter is here with a message for him. Father, we have to speak about what you did. 
You used to call them angels, but in the end, you killed them with a straight razor. They were innocent children, Father. There's blood on your hands. There's even blood on the altar. You're a demented maniac. Satan has prepared a place by his side just for you. He plans to make you commander of his army of demons. <laughs> Congratulations! Innocent children, Father. There's blood on your hands. There's even blood on the altar. You're a demented maniac. Satan has prepared a place by his side just for you. Heavenly Father, he plans help to make you commander of his army of demons. For you know I am your humble servant. I hear the demons gnawing at my faith. My mind is clouded by doubt. Guide me towards the light in these darkest of hours. Wherever the child may be, I know you are with him. I will not lose my faith. I know you will give me a sign. Forgive me, Father. Tonight I will leave this world. My suffering is more than I can bear. I always thought I could find solace among the mortals, but I was a fool. You'll find me at the end of the world. I am waiting for you, and please do not despair. Could this mean that you're alive? A phonograph cylinder. This place, is this another of the devil's tricks? This place is not of your world. It is within the grasp of heaven. It is a part of paradise. God himself gave us this place. Only the brave, the righteous, and the loving can stay here. You're not one of them yet. In time you'll change. Soon your eyes will see the truth. You'll break the seal of the mystery. have a gift for you. An image of Christ. What a curious gift. You will find more of these. They are all scattered around my world. Bring eight of them to the great priest, and he will reveal a great mystery to you about life and death. Remember, every place that you'll visit in my world has a hidden icon somewhere. Leave no stone unturned. Was that place even real? I think I'm going insane. There's something strange about those eyes. I don't like them staring at that door. God is dead. The creator of all things is no more. God is dead.
Hmm, sacramental bread. What kind of trick is this? Who brought these mannequins here from the basement? Holy water. There is a story about a priest and his whore. His name was Father Abraham. And her I never felt ashamed about my relationship with Alexandra. She always had a peculiar passion about the church and about me, especially me. The Roman Ritual. I used this on David to banish the demon that tormented us for a long time. sacramental bread. The smell of wine. What is this? I still love you. Do you remember how we met? Six years ago, at an exhibition of paintings depicting St. Francis. I was in mourning at the time. You noticed me. You approached me, seeing that I was upset and dressed in black. You, a stranger, approached me in an art gallery and comforted me. Who would have done that? I started crying. You wiped my tears away with a white handkerchief. I felt something I could not describe. 
I was in love for the first time. You told me that you lived your life in vain until the day you discovered God. Wounded as I was, I fell prey to love. But I never thought you'd put your love for God above me. I still love you. But it doesn't matter anymore. A phonograph cylinder. I love you in my own way. Unfortunately, we will never be able to marry. As a priest, I'm forbidden to do that. I swore an oath. Even so, though I should not, I still love you. God, what a deadly sin. Nevertheless, it is good that we do not live together anymore. But that is not enough. We shall never see each other again. We cannot live in sin anymore. Stop visiting me at night under the pretext of confessing your sins. It is a torment of the body and soul. People talk. Everything has to stop. Goodbye, Alexandra. I hate you. But consider my hatred to be a strange kind of love that can't find a way of expressing itself other than this. You dare to say we shall never see each other again. It is inhuman. Listen to me, Abraham. I do not care if you're a priest, an angel, or a devil. I want to bear your child. It may seem crazy to you, but it makes perfect sense to me. You can't leave me with nothing. If you do, I'll tell everyone about your past. The diabolical rituals, the orgies, everything. No one will believe you came back to God. Give me the child I want, and I swear I will leave England forever. 
I do not deserve to be abandoned with nothing like one of the children at the orphanage. A few kisses you call a sin, considering the depraved life you led before becoming a priest. Faith has messed with your mind. Give me a child or I'll ruin you. David, if you don't show yourself, the entire village will see me off to the gallows. Grown-ups never understand anything by themselves. And it is tiresome for children to be always and forever explaining things to them. Listen, I want to give my mother a flower. But the flower is dead. Can you bring it to life? If only I could walk on water. Eternal wisdom. Love of God. Of course, we are blind. Though seeing, we do not see. Though hearing, we do not hear. In thy light, we see the light. Anastasis, in Greek, it means resurrection. Stranger broke the flow of the holy tears. He was in ignorance. He ran from truth, but he fell into a dark sleep. He 
took the missing element with him. He's buried somewhere around. Something missing here. The stranger broke the flow of the holy tears. He was an ignorant. He ran from truth, but he fell into a dark sleep. He took the missing element with him. He's buried somewhere around. Those icons look exactly like the floating ones from the shore. It appears to be the tomb of the ignorant man David was telling me about. David, is that you? No, he's Alexander. Who is Alexander? He's my brother. I don't want to speak about him right now. Some memories bring back pain. I really love to play such types of games with you. You're a bit boring as all the adults, but you will get used to it in time. Yet, I don't understand. 